In this video series, we're going to focus on creating a proportional area chart like this one here, which is circular based. And what we will do is we will, we will make it proportional. As you can see here, this has a value of six and this one has a value of five. So let's start to look how we can create these proportions nicely. So this is part one of how to create the proportional circular area chart in Chart.js 4. First thing what we need is to have the boiler template. So we have this boiler template, which you can find here if you go to chartjs3.com getting started. This link you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, scroll down and just copy this chunk of code. Next, if you want to get the source code of this video and many others and support my channel, check out my Patreon page here. So let's start to look. So we have now here the boiler template. And the first thing what I will do is I will add up here. Uh, let's convert this into a pie. There we are. Then what I want to do is remove the scales because we don't need those scales at all. Save that. Refresh. All right. Next, what I want to do is because we only need to have two data points. So we're going to have here two specific data points. So I just do it like that. And I'm going to remove all these additional colors away. Save this. Refresh. There we are. So now we have this, but look at the labels here. Let's remove that as well. We're going to remove that one. And we have now one and two or Monday and Tuesday. All right. So once we have this, what we need to do is we need to rotate this because I want to have this data point basically at the very top or on the upper, upper part of the, the circle and this one at the lower part of the circle. So how do we do this? Well, we can say your comma, we can say your rotation. I'm going to rotate this probably 270 uh, degrees. If I rotate that, there you are. That looks nice. But then what I need to do here, and that's a slight trick. So what I'm going to do here is basically make this or, or even out these items. Let's save that, refresh. There we are. And lastly, what I will do is I will add up here a specific value. So let's say here, after the data, I'm going to say here, the ratio or cohort or, or anything, whatever you want to say, I'll put in here ratio, although it's not probably the right term, but I have nothing better. So what I will say is this will be one and the other one will be five times as big compared to this number one. So make sure we have a comma here. We'll just save this and we're allowed to do this because this is JavaScript object. So we can add up new objects in here. No problem. And you can see nothing happens. In the next video, we're going to start working on creating the plugin. 